What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's yours truly Fit City. How you doing? I hope you're having an awesome day even after this terrible news. We're gonna get into it and the topic of today's discussion is holy crap, Niantic is really trying to get as much money as they possibly can from Mega Raids. Now we knew that initially upon release, but it's getting worse. Let's dive into it in case you haven't seen it. So there is a, you know, September is literally tomorrow and they're saying our mega September event is right around the corner. So some of this isn't that bad, but some of it, well, um, the main part of it is terrible. So here we go. Let's dive into it. From Tuesday, September 1st to Monday, September 7th local time, your goal will be to complete as many mega raids as you can. Already, they're trying to push for people to spend money to complete as many Mega Raids as they can, but it gets worse. Gather Mega Energy to Mega Evolve your Pokemon and take down powerful Raid bosses like never before. If trainers win 2 million Mega Raids before the event ends globally, they'll unlock Mega Pidgeot and Mega Raids. Okay, here's the deal. 2 million. That's 2 million dollars. That is 2 million dollars. Now I know what you're thinking. It's city, we've got free raid passes. If two million people use free raid passes, it's not even gonna cost a dime. I understand that, but guess what the quote unquote value is of your raid pass? Because if we go in a shop, it's one dollar. Your free raid pass is technically a free dollar. It is still a dollar worth of value in game at least. And a lot of people could say nothing's really of value in a fictional game, but uh that also remains, you know, that's a good argument because why are we busting our butts and spending money just to unlock a Mega Pidgeot? It's one Mega Evolution. That is it. Like, woohoo! Just give us the Mega Pidgeot, guys. Come on. Two million dollars for a Mega Pidgeot. Is Mega Pidgeot worth two million even in game currency? No. No. Mega Pidgeot's gonna be overshadowed. Because it's probably not going to be good in PvP, and it's sure as hell not going to be that great in raids. The only reason why you would use a Mega Pidgeot... Actually, there is no reason why you'd use a Mega Pidgeot. Let me tell you why. If you use Mega Charizard Y, it is flying and fire. So if you bring a Mega Charizard Y into a battle, you get a boost in attack for flying and fire. So if the raid boss you're trying to take down a little bit faster is weak to flying, you can just bring out Mega Charizard Y and have one, a cooler Mega Pokemon, and two, a Pokemon that will deal more damage anyway than Mega Pidgeot will. So Mega Pidgeot is almost going to be completely useless. So that's why this is ridiculous. And this is why also I'm, I'm going for a call of action. Let me know in the comment section down below if you plan on not doing any Mega Raids during this week to show Niantic that we're not messing around. I, for one, am not going to do any Mega Raids starting Tuesday, which is tomorrow at 8 a.m. until Monday, September 7th, because I do not want us to hit this goal. Is it going to happen? Probably. But we need to show some solidarity and tell Niantic, listen, this is not cool. So let me know, put in the comment section right now down below that you will not be part participating in this and basically going on strike against Niantic. I'm going to get with a bunch of YouTubers and we're going to get together and hopefully I can get them to kind of, you know, tweet out and do the same thing because we've already had some YouTubers tweet out before saying, hey, don't do mega raids. We need to let Niantic know and talk with our wallets. So I'll be contacting some of them and you'll be seeing some posts on Twitter as well. So again, let me know in the comment section down below if you are going to be abstaining from Mega Raids to tell Niantic, hey, listen, this is not cool, this is not how you should be doing this, just give us the Mega Raids just like they've been giving us regular Pokemon uh, distributions with generations, because that's really what this is. Mega is just, it's not even a feature, it's just something that came out with Gen 6 naturally through the mainstream Pokemon games, and it was, they were like, here, you spend 30 bucks for this game, or 40, whatever it was, you get this, not uh, you keep spending spending five dollars every three weeks to get, keep continue playing it you know continue to use it and of course knowing Niantic just to put in a little bit more FOMO hype they have shiny low tad that's going to be coming out another thing you gotta complete 275 million battles to lock Mega Houndoom so people who don't even want to play in battles or do any kind of battles they're forcing us to go out and battle for a Mega Houndoom uh, you got gym battles, Team Go Rocket battles, and trainer battles. This does exclude, uh, well, using your Mega Pokemon does exclude uh, Go Battle League, but basically go out and battle. Uh, the only piece 
of good information here, but it's kind of bad at the same time, is that you can receive Mega Energy for Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise by completing limited event exclusive field research tasks. And that's throughout the entire month of September. But the problem is event exclusive. So there will be no other way right now, still confirmed, to get Mega Energy for your Blastoise, Venusaur, and Charizard other than doing raids, but those won't be around forever. So there is going to be no other way to gather energy for those Pokemon after this exclusive event. Other than raids, of course, but like I said, they won't be around for very much longer. So, there it is, guys. Very short video. Basically a call to action to tell Niantic, hey, we are not going to do this. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to speak with my wallet. I'm going to speak with my gameplay, basically, is what we're really doing. Uh, I, this just can't stand. This is absolutely ridiculous. Megas were already released as a bad feature in terms of the money aspect. As far as the actual performance aspect, it works great. They did a good job on that. I will praise them for that. Megas work fine. There are no bugs. There were no new bugs added to the game. It was actually a smooth rollout. But the money problem is a huge problem that everybody's talking about it and no one's disagreeing with it. That's the problem. No one disagrees with it. So comment away, please smash that like button, share this video for your, to your friends and family and uh, others for a call to action and smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe, be a part of the Fit City fam. Let's see the boy Fit City. I'm signing off. See you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.